Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Mount Dirklink. Now, um, as you can see, the park is uh, slowly growing bigger and bigger. But as, uh, as I've uh, you know, continued building, uh, there's quite a few areas which uh, I left to a, a next episode. So, uh, yeah, I think in this episode it will be nice if we actually cover some of the areas that we, uh, that we left. Now, um, to start off, uh, I think I'm going to um, work a bit on this area. Uh, we have quite a bit of these icy cliffs here. And what I think will look nice is if we actually use some of these uh, volcano pieces here. I think it will provide some nice uh, contrast to the to the cliff wall. I think uh, yeah, this white uh, just blends in too much. I think it will give some nice uh, contrast. So uh, yeah, I'll just uh, first try uh, and create some nice cliffs here uh, using that. Now, um, as you can see, I've just copied and pasted some of these uh, volcano pieces here onto the cliff. Now, one thing you should be careful of when you uh, do this is that these pieces look different from uh, every angle. So if I rotate the screen right now, it will look nice from every angle. But these uh, separate pieces, which it consists of, all look uh, very uh, different. So when you copy and paste separate pieces, uh, yeah. You, you'll just have to uh, make sure it looks r nice from every angle. For example, here every part seems to be covered from this angle. But if we look from this angle, we can see there's still some uh, pieces where there's just snow. So for example, I can just copy and paste this piece here and overlay it here. And then it will also look nice from this angle. So yeah, that, uh, that will just be uh, something to uh, take into account uh, if you try to make wall walls uh, using these pieces. Okay, I've done, now done two parts of the mountain here. I actually really like the way this uh, this is starting to look. It's uh, much nicer than the yeah, icy cliffs we had uh, in the beginning. There's already uh, way too much uh, of that uh, of that icy uh, snowy color in the map, so it will be good to actually provide some contrast. Now, um, yeah, I also uh, am planting uh, a few trees uh, on top of here just uh, to make it look a little bit more interesting. 
No, this is actually taking quite a lot of time. So uh, I'll just uh, quickly continue doing the rest of, uh, of this uh, cliff here. I'll probably just put some snowy uh, parts uh, in, in between, just like I, like I did here. First of all, that will uh, save me uh, some time. And second, I think it just uh, looks cool. Okay, this uh, rock work is very time consuming. Now, I don't want to bore you guys so with much with a full episode of uh, me doing this. So uh, I will uh, do part of this uh, while I'm not recording. So you will probably see some more of this rock work in the while well, having been completed uh, off camera. Okay, um well, this was just one part of the park that uh, that still needed some work and of course it's still going to need some more work. Um, another part part of the park that I'm not still uh, yeah, that I'm still not very happy with is this plaza here. Right now it's just a big sea of uh, brown asphalt. So uh, yeah, I'm going to try and uh, make this look a little bit nicer. So I'm just going to add a few seating areas, some walls, some little gardens. I think that will uh, uh, much improve the way this area looks. Okay, I think the area already looks uh, quite a bit more inviting. So here I just added some uh, gardens in front of this uh, hotel building. Uh, yeah, where the areas of path were really big. I just uh, made some uh, dividers with some benches. Um, yeah, just everything just to make it look a little bit more um, 
<laughs> like a big path of sea. Just uh, breaking everything up with uh, with some benches and stuff. Um, yeah, just uh, yeah, just decorate decorating a big path of a uh, big path area. Uh, generally, uh, will make it look much better. Yeah, yeah, I even added some decorations which apparently are not even visible from any angle. So yeah, that's uh, probably some waste of time. But uh, yeah, overall, I think this uh, looks uh, much much nicer than it uh, than it used to do. Okay, um, well, this volcano here is uh, no longer necessary. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I will now just uh, go over some of the uh, areas which I've left open, mostly in between other rides, and I will just uh, yeah add some decorations and uh, add some walls, plants, uh, that kind of stuff. Now, one thing that uh, I always do in my scenarios uh, to prevent overcrowding is usually I go to object selection and... Wait, no, that's not it. <laughs> I go to uh, scenario options and usually I check park ratings harder to increase and maintain and guests are more difficult to attract. And if I now uncheck this, uh, more guests will probably enter the park uh, right now. Uh, this is just uh, to set more, of, more or less a limit on the number of guests that enter the park. But the park is uh, so big now that uh, I don't think it uh, matters much if we allow more uh, guests into the park. I think it uh, will be nice to see more of the rides uh, filled up. Okay, here's another area that could probably use some vegetation. So this coaster uh, goes down the hill here. And for part of the ride, I actually placed some trees, but this part is still a bit uh, barren. So here I will just place some extra trees and bushes, and uh, I think that will make this area come to life a bit more. Okay, I did a fair bit of work uh, all throughout the park. So just to uh, recap what, uh, what I did in this episode. So first, uh, I worked a bit on the cliffs here. Now this kind of work uh, I will uh, extend throughout this uh, section of the park here. I think it looks much nicer than just having an icy uh, cliff here. But it is a lot of work to do this uh, for <laughs> all these uh, tiles here. So yeah, I'll uh, probably do part of this work uh, off camera. Uh, 
Just so I don't fill a three-hour episode with uh, with just doing cliffs. Now that kind of rock work, um, I also uh, want to do it uh, around here because uh, we also have some large uh, cliffs here and probably all, all uh, also here on the on the mountain eventually. So yeah, that will uh, still be a <laughs> a lot of work. Now uh, besides that, just uh, here and there, I just added more foliage, some uh, fences next to the path. Uh, decorations, that uh, that kind of stuff. We'll just add uh, a few more fences over here. Okay, I think that uh, looks nice. So I just uh, here and there some trees, some plants, uh, that kind of stuff. And of course, uh, also here in the village, um, I added some of these uh, dividing walls, uh, some uh, little gardens in the middle, a uh, statue here which is not visible from any angle. And some more gardens here. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, this uh, episode, well, I didn't really add anything uh, very flashy. But uh, yeah, episodes like these are just sometimes necessary. Just to uh, make the park more uh, more finished. I'll probably have a few more of these episodes in between later. Because uh, I left a lot of areas uh open to finish in a, in a later episode. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, I'll see you again in the next video. See you later!